One sport that is gaining in popularity is off-track cross-country skiing, also called Nordic skiing. In fact, you can see Chris Schlachter on the trails every day of winter. However, it's not as easy as it used to be. Basically, I've had a lot of encounters with people that were closing trails or, or wanted to. We have a problem that all the land in the Laurentians is private. There's very little public land. And it's been that way for, you know, 150 years that people have owned these, these lots where the trails go. Morin Heights is one of the Laurentians' town who benefited from the explosion and interest of winter sports. However, there is a problem. During the pandemic, many people moved in and are not always acquainted with the region's norms and practices. Families have been here for a long time are used to having people do cross-country skiing and biking over their properties. And some of the new people, let's say they come from suburbs, they're most, more used to having fences around where their land, you know, so they're not used to, to sharing. Outdoors activities are not just a pastime. Warren Heights was built from the beginning on, on outdoor activities. But the new owner, I'd say that's probably why you came here, is because of outdoor activities. So the only way we can keep these outdoor activities going is by having trails. And the only way we can have trails, the municipality can't buy everything. There is some hope that deals can be made for trails to remain open. I think that backcountry touring in the Laurentians is part of our heritage. We have some of the best backcountry touring, Nordic touring in the world. I know we're going to lose more trails. I know that we, can, uh, we have to choose our battles, but I have confidence that we're going to get somewhere with this. Jada Pucas, Morin Heights, The City.